Proverbs 12, verse 25. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Tasha Brew, and I want to share my hair journey with you, 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 and most definitely you. So today we're going all shopping, and our first stop, our very first stop, is going to be at Walmart, right? So give me a thumbs up if you're ready, okay? <laughs> Let's get to it. So this virgin coconut oil definitely caught my attention. I always make sure to check the ingredients section of my oils to ensure that it is the first and only ingredient on the list. This is an important step for me because I do plan on creating an oil mixture and I don't want my individual oils to be contaminated. This is cold pressed and it's extra virgin olive oil but I'm looking for it to say unrefined and it doesn't say that. So it's a Avocado oil. It's 100% pure avocado oil, but it's expeller pressed and naturally refined, so that's a no for me. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick with the coconut oil. I typically go for coconut oils that are unrefined and cold pressed. This is the purest and most natural form of the oil. It is not bleached or deodorized, and no chemicals are added in the extraction process. This preserves the oils, leaving me with all nutritional benefits that the oils have to offer. Links and references are included below. Alright, so our next stop is at Whole Foods. I'm going to grab one of my favorite oils from here. So do a little shimmy shimmy with me if you're still here. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so you guessed it, or maybe not. <laughs> I am grabbing castor oil. Um, I always check the ingredient just like before to make sure that it is the one and only ingredient here. Cold pressed again, it is 100% solvent free. Um, and I realized during this time that there was a second castor oil and I was very curious about this particular brand and I tried to look to see if there was differences there. I still looked at the ingredients portion and I really just studied the oils to see what was different about them and which I would prefer to go with. So I've been using the home health brand of this castor oil for quite a few years now. They've changed their label recently so I didn't really recognize it at first but I decided to go with it anyway because in addition to it being cold pressed, it's hexane free which means that it's free from the chemical that's typically used to extract the oil from the seed and it's also solvent free. This indicates that the oil contains little or no solvent, which makes it environmentally friendly. It's definitely an added bonus for me. Just in case you're wondering, well, why does she go with the yellow castor oil as opposed to Haitian or Jamaican black castor oil? And my answer is simply this. Yes, I still do use Haitian and Jamaican black castor oil on my regimen. There's a reason why they're two completely different colors. Yellow castor oil is made by simply pressing fresh castor beans and it's cold pressed so no heat is involved in this process. No change in color. Black castor oil on the other hand is produced by roasting the beans of the plant, mashing them into a paste, boiling them in water, and then extracting or removing the oil. So because it's roasted first, it's much darker in color and has a distinct smell. I typically apply Haitian or Jamaican black castor oil on its own, but with yellow castor oil, I do combine it with my other oils. This is a preference thing for me, so definitely do your own research to see which option you like best or use them all like I do. <laughs> Ooh, and a quick tip before we move on, I tend to do this a lot with my products. I always look for a bottle or container seal to ensure that everything is tight, secure, and tamper-proof. Links and references are included below. Some extra virgin olive oil and full press. Checking the back, making sure that olive oil is the only ingredient here. Um, but it doesn't say unrefined. 
now you see how quickly I put that oil back <laughs> for it not saying unrefined. I kept looking for more uh, olive oils and I didn't find anything that was unrefined, cold pressed, and extra virgin. And so I decided that I was going to make my way to the cashier and to my surprise, I see a familiar face. It's generally from my church. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Talked about my YouTube channel, purchased my oil, and we said our goodbyes. Thanks for recording with me, Jenna Lee. I'll talk to you soon. We are at our last and final stop of the day. We're at Trader Joe's. Now, let's see what we can find. Alright, just picked up an extra virgin olive oil. By now, you guys already know what I'm looking for. Unrefined, cold-pressed checking the ingredient on the back just to ensure that this is the right oil for me same thing with the avocado oil looking at it it is unrefined it is cold pressed it is virgin and of course checking that ingredient on the back boom it is avocado oil so i think we're good to go oils are an essential part of my hair regimen they can moisturize my hair tame frizz and even prevent breakage. These four oils are not the only oils that I apply to my hair. They do, however, form the base that I create for all of my oil mixtures. Olive, coconut, and avocado oil penetrate the hair shaft, which basically just means that they help fill in gaps in my hair. Castor oil coats the hair shaft or creates a film around the hair that helps protect it. There are so many more benefits to these oils, so be on the lookout for my next video. I'll be talking about those benefits and showing you how I put my oil mixture together. I want to thank you for shopping with me today, and of course, thanks for watching.